In this anchor test, students are asked to find the sum of two numbers, two two-digit numbers, 36 and 45. And then they are asked to find the sum of two three-digit numbers, 236 and 345. What we are trying to get students to understand is that Mathematics is merely building upon things we already know. So although they are dealing with bigger numbers, we want to reassure them that it is nothing more difficult. If you do know the total or the sum of 36 and 45, figuring out the sum of 236 and 345 is not very much more. So for example, in this case, they would say that, all right, adding the tens would give us 70 and adding the ones would give us 11. And 11 is really just one more 10 and a one, resulting in 80 and one or 81. If they are able to figure out the sum of 36 and 45, which is of course 81, then figuring out the sum of 236 and 345, that's indeed rather straightforward. It's just adding the 500s to the 81 that they already figured out. For that matter, they can find the sum of a lot of other things. For example, if they want to find the sum of 36 and 945, that's pretty straightforward as well, given that they already know the sum of 36 and 45. All they need to do is to add the additional 900 to the previous sum that they got. Here we are trying to teach children the nature of math, that mathematics is building upon things that we already know. Also, mathematics is an act of problem solving. That means we always use what we already know to figure out what we don't. Many teachers think that by giving children bigger numbers, it makes the calculation more difficult. I hope in this video, we realize that the difficulty in adding three-digit numbers is not in the hundreds. It is in the tens and the ones. For example, in finding the sum of 236 and 345, the most difficult bit is in finding the sum of 36 and 45. The hundreds were indeed rather easy 